So we're gonna do a couple, a mixture of worship and two of our original songs. Uh, we're gonna start with Ain't No Grave.
Oh, love it. That I, I I happen to really like that song. I love that song. Uh, our our band, we do it, but we do like the Johnny Cash arrangement. But I love that arrangement that you got there. Oh, thank you. You got some additional lyrics. I want to know were those your lyrics or where those come from? Um, I think that half are mine and half are Molly Skaggs. I think. Oh, you do what I do. You take songs and then you add a little bit into them. Yeah. Yes. I love it. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> I love the arrangement uh, and, and the groove. And, and, of course, I love the message because there ain't no grave going to hold our body right? down. Yeah, we do that I, song a lot for uh, worship, for Celebrate Recovery, because obviously a grave represents, you know, things that yeah. we do that feel like death. <laughs> so, we, yeah, yeah, we love that one. Um, of death this next one we're going to do is called burden and this is one of our originals and this song was born this last year when two of our friends had sons that committed i think it's your mic had no had had sons that committed suicide and so we we just really god put this song on our hearts and we wrote this song and this song will be on our next album you ready You 
Yeah, depression is a uh, depression and suicide is just such a heartbreaking situation in our world, and it has been um, just really moving <coughs> us to write music that touches those dark, dark, dark places. And that was just a song that we wrote to speak to people who might be feeling that way. What, what, if it was my son, what would I want somebody to be saying to them, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this Beautiful. next song is called, do you, have any, do you want to talk to me? Oh, no, 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 go ahead, carry on. <laughs> okay, you want I was just saying it's a beautiful okay. tune. Um, this next song is called Hang On, and this song is actually a song that I wrote right in the middle of a divorce I was going through three years ago, and this is, I call this my divorce song when God truly showed up huge, and he just kept saying to me, just hang on, just hang on. I will prove to you that I am all you need, and um, yeah, you ready? I feel like I got a frog in my throat tonight. Gone are the days I'd share my tears in the shower. I am amazed how much my life has changed. No and I am not sure where I'm going You are the voice that tells me it's okay These are the days who roll me to rumble These are the days I just hang on Amen. Very, very nice. So, a Angie, I did have one question. I was looking over your bio, and it um, uh, looks like you guys have got some recording under your belt. You want to share a little bit about that real quick? 
Yes, I do. <laughs> we just put an album out. I don't know where I'm supposed to. Oh, and... hold it up closer. Hold it up closer. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, um, that's... this this is our first album. This album actually took eight years to record. Oh. <laughs> Um, but you know what? All in God's timing, and every single song has a different feel to it. A whole group of different people came in and out of the project. Um, we used several different recording studios, and then the last two-year stretch of it, we actually did completely on our own with our label in Portland, um, kind of, um, what is it called? Electronically. <laughs> And yeah, so we were gonna say, if anybody wants to, who's listening or you guys wants to share our band and our album um, on your page, like post it on your page, send, send us a message and we will send you a free CD in the mail. So just, if you wanna do that for us, help get the word out for recovery music. It's all about Jesus, but it's all about just real life. It's basically um, my testimony um, through 16 different songs. So from start to finish, it starts with faith, the small as a mustard seed, to giving back to people. And we're just so grateful to have the, the project done and we're really proud of it. That's, and, that's yeah. awesome. So, so I want to tell you one thing, don't feel bad about it taking eight years because I had some solo stuff that I was working on to make a solo album and it kind of split apart into two albums, you know, because there was Christian stuff and secular stuff. It took me 10 years. So, so you're doing good. Yeah. So, so real one other quick question here before, before I let you do one more, another song, you mentioned that you combine together the sounds of classical blues folk gospel and country and, and i'm really baffled how do you combine all those together help me understand all right so damien here is classically trained um on piano he is absolutely brilliant he is one of well that's the true yeah gifted um composers i've ever met i am more of the um the funky, uh, eclectic, I really love modern sounds, but I'm also really into old school gospel. I love black gospel. Um, I love country, but like bluegrass country. And then Sunny Dove is really old school country and slide guitars. And so what we like to do is just have a, just a marination of all that. And every single song we do has a different feel and a different vibe because mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people that when I listen to a band and every single song sounds the same, right? I, I'm not, I kind of lose interest. And so we like to make music that appeals to everybody's type of, you know, favorites. And so mm -hmm. we just kind of like to group it all together. <laughs> But then at the same time, we also like just acoustic, really simple music. And yeah. yeah. Well, we're loving it so far. You got some more? Yeah, she calls my stuff Disney or like uh, when I play classical little twiddlies or something. And we try to combine her style with my style. And it's very interesting. And sometimes we go back and forth. But then we kind of arrive in the middle. And it, it creates magic sometimes. So it's pretty mm. cool. <laughs> yes. Very cool. What else you got? You going to play some more? Yeah, we're gonna do the the newest Lauren Daigle. Hold on to me. Um, when you know what's funny is actually when I first heard this song, I wasn't a fan. Um, I really wasn't. But then I really listened to it and sang it myself, and it it just hit me in the core. And, I, and now it's one of my favorites. So we're gonna end on "Hold On to Me." Some songs just grow on you that way. <laughs> of me is barely breathing when I'm not somebody I believe in hold on to me when I miss a life night is stolen when I'm slamming on no